She's a woman who wears many hats. She's a dancer, a physiotherapist, and a certified personal trainer. Christina Gonzalez is here to tell us how she's empowering women through what she does best, movement. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Mr. Christina upon social media, you see people. Hey. <laughs> and decide, say, you know, sometimes it's best, better to just watch her and not try to do what she's doing. Because you have to have a certain level of fitness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, me try it and it never worked. Christina, good morning. How good are morning. you? I am great. I'm How did wonderful. you become a dancer? Oh my goodness. It was the most natural thing for me because my mother was a dancer. Okay. Um, she was a dancer for several years and then she became a fitness instructor. Ah. So she was my first choreographer, my first dance instructor before mm -hmm. I went into prep school and, you know, danced another dance teacher. From prep school, I did dancing in high school. From high school, I went to uh, Enamali College and did dancing there. Oh. Yeah. So pro 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 proper trained. Proper training toward yeah. the National Dance Theatre Company See there? when Professor was alive, mm -hmm. Professor Rex Nettleford and Barry Moncrief. May they rest in peace. I like that you said that because a lot of what you do on social media is contemporary. Yeah. But, but you can see technique and, and now I'm getting it. Yes. You can see the technique in yes. it. Um, and that's why I said to people, it doesn't hurt to learn yeah. the fundamentals because yeah. once you have that, mm -hmm. you can expand your vocabulary into anything exactly. else. Exactly. So, exactly. so that's the dancing. How did physiotherapy, people follow you hurt themselves? Is that why <laughs> you took up physiotherapy? <laughs> no, well, well, the interesting thing is um, a lot of persons don't know this about me, but I did really well in high school. Um, one of my favorite teachers was my biology uh, teacher. So um, much to her dismay, when I left high school, I went straight into dancing. Yeah. She said, Christina, every time she see me, you're not going to do physiotherapy because she wanted me to do something in the science or something in medicine. And yeah. I said, let me, let me go and enjoy my life a little bit. No, so I, did, I went straight from high school into Enamali College, did those three years. And then after a few years, I said, you know what? Dancing is just not, it's not satisfying me mentally. Mm -hmm. Like emotionally and, you know, in terms of the passion, I was enjoying it. But I say, something I want to go back to the academic, something that's stimulating for the mind, somewhere I can help persons on a different level. Mm -hmm. And that's when I decided, you know, let me go to UA, let me apply to UA. And I got into the physiotherapy course and I did that for three years and graduated. Yeah, I'm glad you yeah. said that because this morning we were talking about st STEM and I put the A in. Yeah. And I feel that's important. I, and I was saying people have different parts of them yeah. and different types of talent yeah. and there you are saying yeah. you're an accomplished dancer mm. but you're also an academic yeah. who wants to do sciences yeah. and you should be able to yeah. do both so that's the it's physiotherapy and then you realize that a lot of us who come to the physiotherapist because we're doing things and we're not fit enough that's why you're <laughs> the personal training <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So the, the most natural thing for me as well as a physiotherapist, because the, the, the common misconception is that from your physiotherapist, then you must can just segue naturally just so in a personal training. But mm. it's two different types of um, frame of thought. Okay. The concept in terms of because we as physiotherapists, therapists, we curate programs to help you to rehabilitate. Mm -hmm. So we're not necessarily going to help a bodybuilder to win a competition. Mm -hmm. A personal trainer, no, is able to navigate those variables. A physiotherapist can do it as well, yes, mm -hmm. but with a lot of reading, the personal training program, it helps you a lot more with that. Mm -hmm. So things like um, gym, getting you stronger, mm -hmm. increasing your strength in the core. gym, mm -hmm. core, you know, falls under um, mm -hmm. strengthening as well. Mm -hmm. Different fields, different frame of mind. But it yeah. must help to mm -hmm. have so much knowledge in both. In both. Because in I all find three. In all three. Because yes. I find that some people, and I said it as a joke, but serious mm. thing, some people go into the gym, they, they, they don't know yeah. proper lifting techniques, they don't yeah. know certain, and then they end up at you, yeah. at the physiotherapist. So I think mm -hmm. um, you're able to get them to, to reach that potential, for but sure. in a much safer way. Yeah, man, for sure. Because another thing that I like to um, tell persons as well is that, as a physiotherapist, as a person who has done classical dancing, ballet dancing, yes. I'm able to see a person for, for what the body is at baseline. Mm -hmm. So one of the things a lot of persons don't, don't, don't recognize is that when you come to the gym, it's not just about, oh, I just want to live up some big weight. It's mm -hmm. not about that. Yeah. Um, so you need to develop your range of motion. Some persons do not have range in their muscles to do the deep lifts that they see on their favorite IG influencers mm, doing on TikTok. Up. Just go in and everybody just wants to, you know what, up. the man that lift 15, I'm gonna go and lift about mm. 500 now. Mm. It don't work like that. Because it will be counterproductive. Your body won't be improving. It won't be an efficient workout for you. So things like range of motion. When I do my assessment, you know, it's not the typical personal trainer assessment where I say, okay, run on a treadmill or whatever, right? Mm. I take you through the first session 
it has to be, I need to see your range of motion. Mm -hmm. I need to see how long you can go on a treadmill and mm -hmm. see you do basic movements such as a hinge when you do like a deadlift. Yeah. Um, a squat, mm -hmm. I need to see you do a bench press and then there are other functional things I need to see that you can do mm -hmm. because I need to see what you look like on a regular basis in terms of activities of daily living and then how I can pull you from there mm -hmm. to optimize mm -hmm. to your go. daily living and then we can progress from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. important is, is, is body confidence yeah. in a woman. I know a lot of men said to me, you know, there's nothing sexier than I've seen a confident Woman, yeah. and it's not even about all oh, your shape, but all oh, your look, just yeah. being confident. How important is it's, that? It's extremely important. Mm. It's extremely important. And Delia, where that starts from, and I'm sure you know this, is inner self. All right. Right? You can't just, as, and it goes again, because a lot of people are just influenced by social media now. You go on, on social media and you say, a Chloe Bailey do something. You say, you know what I'm going to put on a clothes, a Chloe Bailey. They don't understand that these persons, they go through a lot of inner work, right. a lot of self-affirmations. Mm -hmm. And so going into the dancing now, mm. <laughs> I teach hey. women. Hey. Hey. This is a very exciting topic for a lot of women because ultra sensuality is a workshop that I host for women. Mm -hmm. Right now, this year I'm doing it virtually online because I cannot find a studio space that gives them the absolute privacy that they need. Mm -hmm. So ultra sensuality dance workshop um, is going to be December 10th. Right? Women are going to be allowed to just, you know, do it in the privacy of their own homes. And we're going to go through things like affirmations, things like breath work, to breathe in the good, let out the bad, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? All the toxic energy. We don't realize how much, as women, we stomach, we hold on to a lot of tension. We're taking care of our business, we're taking care of our families, we're taking care of, we just say, take care, take care, take care, we're not taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so confidence comes from that inner work that you're able to do. A good 80, to, probably push it to all or 90% of what you do in private is what people see as a successful person Correct. on the outside. And Correct. you know this. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. Right. Correct. You yeah. have a 30 day home workout. Yes, e I do. Now I have things mercy. Ready, you know. <laughs> The e <laughs> Tell me about the ebook. It sounds like a something yes. I wanted. Tell me yes. about it. So the 30-day home workout guide for empowering women. What it started off initially was I wanted I want women to understand that you can do these workouts at home with I give you 30 templates absolutely free. So you have an idea of here's how a workout is structured. Mm -hmm. You can do it in the privacy of your own home first because a big issue you know, for a lot of persons, I was talking to a young lady the other day, is that they don't want to come to the gym because they feel embarrassed mm -hmm. of where they are, how deconditioned they may be. Mm -hmm. So they want to do a little bit of self-work, a little bit of inner work first mm -hmm. before they come out to the gym. And so that's what I provided with the, the e-book. So the e-book is associated with a YouTube playlist. Yeah. So I go down to my gym, down at Tough Fitness, they got my Tough Fitness family, they have Black Friday the sale coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug, but I went down to Tough and I, and I did all of these exercises that um, are outlined in the book, mm -hmm. and it's a demonstration for them. That so while you're doing the following along with the, the, the program, mm -hmm. you can follow along on YouTube as well. And I did right. that absolutely free. All right. So as we go, tell us where to find you on Instagram. Yes, so Instagram, it's Chris underscore Choreo C H R I S S underscore C H O R E O. When you want to sign up with me for all of these programs, so the ebook, as long as you sign up for my mailing list, you get that um, ebook into your um, email, email as a PDF. Okay. So you can go to chriscoriocarnival.com, mm -hmm. which is where I host all of my carnival stuff, getting ready for carnival, carnival body, dance classes, getting ready for carnival. Danielle, uh, <laughs> getting ready. All of those things. So chriscoriocarnival.com. Right, so once you go there, you will get that pop up that says um, subscribe to my mailing list and you get all the updates of what are happening. Right, nice, yes, ma nice girl, love it. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you see her alone, you feel empowered. Yes, so we're going, we're gonna get that body. <laughs> Chance, a physiotherapist and certified personal trainer, Christina Gonzalez. News in five is next, guys. We still go.